Welcome to the seventh video in the series NVMet Unfolded, a complete guide to the NVMet software. In the last video, we covered facade and roof greening and all of the parameters that define it. In this video, we will cover the first part of the pollution and sources feature, or just sources as it is known in NVMet. NVMet allows for detailed pollution simulations and analysis from a variety of sources, such as automobile traffic, factory and household emissions, and other particle dispersing sources, such as water fountains releasing water and gas particles into their surrounding area. To begin, we will start with the database manager open and our project selected. If we expand system sources, we can see three default pollution sources that come standard with MVMet. Test lane refers to a sample of traffic pollution along a segment of roadway. Water fountain and water nozzle, as the names imply, are pollution profiles for systems that emit water to the local atmosphere. In order to explain all of the features and parameters associated within the pollution source profile, we will generate a user copy of the default test lane. If we then select our user database test lane, we can see a variety of initial parameters describing the source profile. Description allows us to give a more specific name for our source profile. Default height refers to the height in meters that the pollution is introduced into the model area. Source geometry has three different values that describe in what way the pollution and particles of the current source profile are generated within the model area. Point refers to a specific point where the particles are introduced into the model, for example the chimney of a small house. Line refers to a line along which the particles are introduced into the model area. This would be used when modeling the pollution generated by traffic along a road. Area refers to a larger area in which particles are added to the model, for instance when modeling a large water fountain or a large smokestack from a factory. The special ID is only important for simulating water spray from fountains. A value of 1 in this parameter results in MVMAT simulating water spray from the ground level to the defined height value. A value of 2 would simulate water spray only at the defined height value. The remark parameter is simply a way to add an extra description to the source profile. The next 6 parameters make up the emission profile for this particular source profile. The values that are displayed are the micrograms of specific particles that are given off per second during each hour of the day in regards to the source geometry that was chosen. The user species type of emission profile is a custom pollutant that is up to the user to define values for. This value can be further defined within the MV guide, which we will cover in a later video. DNO, NO2 and ozone species refer to the amounts of nitrogen monoxide, nitrogen dioxide and ozone being dispersed per second at various hours of the day. PM10 refers to particulate matter with a diameter of 10 micrometers or less, while PM2.5 refers to particulate matter with a diameter of 2.5 micrometers or less. This governs the dispersion of larger particulates like dust, smoke or mist. If we click to edit one of the emission profiles, we can see the different units of measure needed for each source geometry. Keep in mind that these values are not based on volumetric measurements of how much of a specific pollution exists within a specific volume of space, but rather how much of a pollutant is released from a specific point, line or area at a specific height. Once all of the individual particle profiles have been edited, we will have a complete emission profile for our pollution source. As always, make sure to save changes you may have made. That's all for part 1 of our explanation of the pollution and sources feature. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video, where we will go into detail about the traffic tools and create our own traffic pollution profile.